Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined in the star line by a man who despises unpredictability but loves March Madness. The owner of Crime Fiction Works Newsletter, When She Left, has been called Crime Fiction at its finest. We welcome E.A. Amar. Hi, how are you? Thanks so much for having me on. Absolutely great. E.A., let's go beyond the mic. From your book, quote, if you kept a low profile and hid your crimes with even a slight degree of competence, no one would catch you, unquote. You've written multiple dark thrillers. How easy and hard is it writing about crimes you've never committed, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, most of the stuff I write about, I've never done. I'm so boring, uh, come to think about it. Uh, I mean, now that you put it that way, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm a chocolate. I've got to do something. i got to get out there, man. Uh, but no, it's it's... You know, it's all, everything's imagined, right? So every character, everything like that. So, yeah, it's not, it, it's not too difficult. I, I try not to do, you know, the only hard part's the research. You talk about imagination. And, EA, why is writing both female and male perspectives challenging? Yeah, you know, the, um, it, for different reasons. You know, I've, I've traditionally written from women's perspectives. And I do that from the third person because I I don't have, you know, I can't get into their mind with the kind of insight that women can. And women are writing crime fiction right now, especially in psychological thrillers, so well. I, I don't want to compete with that. So I don't try. You know, I, I try to make my woman very realistic. I All my early readers are women, as, is, as are my agent and editor. But I don't... Um, you know, I so I, I'm fortunate because they'll call me out on everything I get wrong, and they delight in doing so. With men, uh, writing men, it's a bit different because men aren't typically uh, written emotionally in crime fiction, and and part of that is by you know design and by character. But I wanted to write this book about men reacting to stuff, and even if they're not reacting in outward emotions, they're reacting. In different ways. Lucky suffers from crying fits and panic attacks. Yeah. How is his fight to rebuild his family life a theme you can relate to? Yeah, it's, you know, it really informed the, uh, the, the book, you know, and his character because what Lucky Wilson, so he's a reluctant, you know, hitman slash realtor and, and there's some humor, there's some dark humor about this conflicted hitman. And, and that's a trope that we've seen, but with Lucky, I wanted to, I didn't want him to be a caricature. And giving him a devotion to his family was something that was genuine and authentic. And it's something I share too. You know, I'm, uh, I, you know, we, we, once we had a kid and, you know, stuff, it's like after I got married, my outlook on things, you know, started to, to shift. And, you know, that, that devotion was something that I, I was able to put into Lucky and it, and it grounded him. Um, and, and like Lucky, you know, I'm, my, I'm barely hanging on to my family. They're so over me, but, <laughs> yeah, you're right. What you know, my wife's a realtor, and she does feel like a hitman to me. So I totally understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. E. A. Amar is the author of the latest thriller when she left, and he joins us beyond the mic. He despises unpredictability, but alas, it's time for the Rocky Nate eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, E. A. There is no pressure. What's the best thing about a dog? Uh, the ears. Rubbing the ears. Oh, yeah. So great. So soothing. Mm -hmm. When reading a book for crime fiction works, what overarching theme touches you and makes you love a book? Uh, it has to be personal. There has to be some. I, I, I don't really enjoy as much global books like, you know, terrorism events or something. I like smaller books. So that's what, that, that's what calls to me. Is there a character of yours you had to rewrite several times because they just didn't feel right? Yeah, and when she left, it was a character named Ruby, who is uh, one of the characters, Jake's mom. It took me a long time to figure out exactly what made her tick, and uh, I wrote a lot of backstory for her that I pared down because of that. Where's your favorite place to take your son to relax? Oh, Dave and Buster's. We go to Dave and Buster's and we spend way too much money and we both play video games uh, until our eyeballs bleed. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> you play more than they do sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah. How many times do you have to promise your editor not to tinker with your book? Oh my gosh, that's such a good question because that is something we had to agree on because I always tinker with it after it's done. 
And I'm like, can we use this person instead? And, and I, she made me promise, like, no, that at a certain point, it's done. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, okay, I guess. <laughs> EA, which young writer inspires you today? Two, I'd say that just off the top of my head, uh, Jordan Harper, who is out in L.A. and is also a screenwriter. His books are amazing and his last one everybody knows came out last january it's great and then a uh, writer out of canada jennifer hillier who writes psychological uh thrillers and you'd know the minute you read her books if it's a jennifer hillier book i, I really admire that how about your favorite comic book of all time i think it's one where the i, well, I really love the preacher series i love the punisher series garth ennis did both of those um but the uh, there is a X Men versus I forget which the bad guys were comic book that I just read over and over as a kid. I loved it. It was oh X Men against the Juggernaut. It was great. Where's the place you want to go to on vacation? Uh, you know I'm from Arizona. I mean not from there, but I lived there for uh, I was there in high school in a year of middle school. And Arizona is where I, I love going. It feels it feels like home for me, even if I was only there five years. It it just that land just calls to me for some reason. I'm going to sneak in one more. When you got your first copy of the finished book in your hand, what were your emotions? You know, I was excited. I was happy. I was really happy because I'm, I'm normally nervous, but uh, about books, you know, coming out, but I felt like this book, I don't know. I, maybe it's because this is my fourth one and I'm familiar with the process now, but something about it, I felt very confident and very assured and just like, you know, I, this is why I know what I wrote. I know how it's going to be received. I, I thought, felt like I did. And I feel, I feel strong about it. So it was, it was a, an oddly assured feeling. It's time for one big question with the author of when she left EA Amar beyond the mic. EA quote, love is worth killing for unquote, but what is writing worth to you? Uh, well, not much money, but it's <laughs> worth a lot. It's, it's, um, it, you know, it's still, it's always, I think it's, I hope it's always going to be what I turn to, you know, it's always going to be, I hope it's always a part of my life. It's been a part of my life for over, oh gosh, like 24 years now, you know, an every day, almost part of my life. And it's, uh, you know, I, I, I hope that that's something that remains. I hope it's always, uh, as important to me as it was when I first started writing and, 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 you're just kind of like lovingly making it up as you go. Um, everything about it. He loves playing video games with his son, vacationing in Arizona, and wants you to read When She Left, the talented EA Amar. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Uh, thank you for having me on. It was, it was so fun talking with you. And that, my friends, is I'll be on the mic shortcut. If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.